Welcome to a video taking a look at reverse percentages. Here we are told that a laptop has been reduced in a sale by 20%. The sale price is £320. What was the original cost of the laptop? So first things first, let's think about carefully about what's happened. We're told that a laptop that we don't know the price of has been reduced in a sale by 20%. So this laptop that we don't know the price of has had 20% taken off of its value. Then we're told that when this has happened, it's equal to £320. So after 20% after has been taken off, we're left with £320 we are being asked to find out what the original cost of the laptop was so what is this mystery amount so let's think about this carefully if something has had 20% taken off okay what I could say is that my original amount that's the amount that I started with that's all of the amount that I started with I can think of that as being 100% then what am I doing I'm taking off 20% from my 100%. So if I take off 20% from 100%, I'm left with 80%. And so what I could say is that 80% is equal to my sale price. So my sale price is the equivalent of 80%. 20% has been taken off of the original, so I'm left with 80%, and we're told that 80% is £320. The sale price is £320. Now we're asked to find the original cost of the laptop. Now what I would do here is I would say, okay, well, how can I get back to, I'm trying to get back to this point, my 100%, my original amount. What did I start with? So I need to get from 80% to 100%. Now the way that I would do that person is I would say, okay, let's figure out what 10% would be. Now this is the point at which most people make a small mistake. They think always that to get 10%, oh, I just have to divide by 10. But it doesn't always work like that. Here, we have been told that 80% equals 320. If we were to divide 80% by 10, that would give us 8%. So what we're going to have to divide 80% by to reach 10%? We would have to divide 80 by 8. Because 8 10 percent make 80%. So if I take my 80%, my £320, and I divide it by 8, that's going to give me what my 10% is. So 320 divided by 8 that gives me £40. So what I then need to do is, okay, well, if I know that 10% is £40, that means that 100%, that must be 10 times as much, that must be 400 So my original cost of the laptop, so I've just, all I've done there is I've times by 10, my original cost of the laptop would be £400. Now, <clears throat> I can check my answer here. If I take 20% off of £400, let's see if that works. It should give me an answer of 320 So, let's, let's have a look. So, I've got £400. I want to take 20% of 400 off of it. So, 400 um, so 10% is going to be 10% is going to give me £40. Then 20% would be 80. And so that means that 400 minus the 20% because it was reduced by 20%. 400 minus 80, that gives me an answer of 320. So my answer is correct. The original cost of the laptop was £400. Okay, let's take a look at another example. 
Here we're told that the price of a house has increased by 30% since it was first built 23 years ago. The house now costs £260,000. What was the value of the house when it was first built? So, let's start thinking about this. Again, we're trying to figure out a mystery amount. We want to know what the original amount was. So we've got this original amount. We don't know what the price of the house was when it was first built. And we're trying to figure out, well, what is the price of the house after the price of the house has been increased by 30%? So it's been increased by 30%. So we can say that the price of the house originally has had 30% added on. Again, whenever we're thinking about our original amount, we can always think of our original amount as being everything that we started with, we can think of everything we started with as being 100%. So 100% plus 30%, that is going to be equal to the new price of the house, because we've added 30% to our original amount, and that's given us 260,000. So, from here, what I could say is that 130% is equal to 260,000. Now, again, what I would do here is I would need to figure out what my 100% would be. Now, the way in which I would go about doing this is I would think, okay, well, what would 10% be? So, if 130% is equal to 260,000, what do I need to divide 130% by to reach 10%. I need to divide it by 13. So if I divide 130% by 13, that gives me 10%. There are 13 10% in 130%. So let's do exactly the same to 260,000. Let's divide this by 13. That will tell me what my 10% is going to be. So 260,000 divided by 13, that's going to give me 20,000. Then from here, to get from my 10% to my 100%, what am I going to have to do? I'm simply going to have to multiply by 10. So taking my 20,000, multiplying that by 10, that's going to give me an answer of 200,000. So what was the value of the house when it was first built? When it was first built, it was valued at £200,000.